Hello, my name is Kent, and welcome to the Flower 2008 software. Wanted to give you a quick uh, tour of the new Daylily hybridizing section. If you click on hybridize, come up to the first screen where we have the matching helper, hybridizing helper for the matcher. And what you'll do here is you have a list of all the daylilies in your program, and on each side you would pick a pod and a pollen parent to hybridize. And let's say I want to hybridize Ida's Magic with Barbara Mitchell. It tells you, shows you the picture of each one, gives you the, the uh, description and characteristics, and you can even then get more details on Ida's Magic. If I just click on the details, it'll tell you the, uh, the uh, pod and pollen parent of Ida's Magic. And if you really want to get uh, more details, you can click on the info of Ruffled Dude. And let's see if it can go out to the internet. And it did. It went out to the internet and looked up our database and found the, the characteristics and descriptions of uh, Ruffled Dude. So it gives you a lot of uh, powerful information when you're getting ready to uh, plan what, what crosses you're going to do for the, uh, for the hybridizing. I'll go back here and it shows me my characteristics and I will say okay I want to create this pollination cross so all I have to do is hit create pollination cross and it comes and automatically puts it in Ida's Magic, Magic and Barbara Mitchell now what it leaves you here is you're on the pollination cross planning page and here's where you will set up all the crosses you are planning to make now when you actually do the pollination you would come in here and put in the pollination date. Um, let's see, I did it today, 0403. And um, when you uh, when you make the pollination, you could save that. Now, down the road, you would actually harvest the pods and get the seeds out. So you could, let's say that uh, you harvested it on um, oh. Let's just say that you, you pulled it out on uh, July 1st, and that's just hypothetical, and you got, you got about, let's say, 12 seeds out of the pod. So we'll go ahead and save that. It tells you how many days. Um, the next thing would be uh, putting it in the fridge and getting it out of the fridge. And let's say when you get it out of the fridge and, and you, you're ready to germinate your seeds, Let's say that uh, you had a total of, uh, out of the 12 seeds, nine of them germinated. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Once you uh, get your germinated seeds, you would then want to send, send these nine germinated seeds to the seedling page, okay? And what you do is you create your seedlings from this cross. And here it says, I, want to, I have nine germinated seeds, and I can put in a, uh, a prefix for these, um, these seedlings so that everyone keeps, uh, keeps track of their seedlings differently. But I'll call them um, oh, Kent um, 2008. And when I create these seedlings, what it does is it'll ask me and it'll put, here's my nine seedlings I just created. Now what happens is um, you can see the nine seedlings, Kent 1 through 9, 2008. Um, let's say that uh, as, I, as these seedlings grow over the next period of time, uh, let's say that uh, Kent 2008-4 turned out to be a really nice seedling and I wanted to use it either later in hybridizing or, or possibly even register it. I could then take that seedling and move it to my daily database and what this does is it actually moves it to my main daylily database so and I'll show you what happens it take see now number four has changed it's no it's uh, it's no longer in my uh, list of seedlings only it is now moved to my daylilies and I'll show you if I quit out of here I can go over to daylilies and I can find there's Kent uh, 2008 number four, and it is now a seedling in my main daily base. And I can use this either as a, uh, a pod or pollen parent for another hybridizing match, or I can register it. Well, that, uh, that gives you an idea of how the new hybridizing section works. Um, very powerful. A lot of uh, special people have helped us uh, create this section. And thank you for your time.